Would you like to know the principles that one of the world's great business leaders lives by? Stay tuned. Hello again, everyone. I'm Eli's dad with Project Eli, where we educate, we lead, and we inspire. And today I'm going to go over with you an article that I read and issues that things that I've touched upon in the past, but when you hear it from a different perspective, a lot of times it clicks and you have an aha moment and you say, that makes sense. So I'm going to go over with you an article by a lady named Grace Dean called these are the 14 leadership principles that Jeff Bezos established at Amazon and they still drive the company today. So without further ado, let's get to some of these principles. We're going to break it down into a couple of different videos. All right, first one, customer obsession. Leaders start with the customer and work backwards. They work vigorously to earn and keep customer trust, and all leaders do pay attention to their competitors. They, one thing that they're obsessing over is their customers. Now, I want you to keep something in mind. Being a leader, as a parent, you are a leader. So most of these principles apply to you as a parent, as a leader. Customer obsession. If you're a parent, Who's your customer? Your kids. You vigorously work to earn and keep their trust. Does that make sense? And you start with the outcome that you want to achieve for your children, and then you work backwards. Hmm. Once again, one of the things that I've preached from this pulpit time and time again is that leadership is the transference of the same principles that make an individual successful when you transfer those principles to the group to the team then the team becomes successful please keep that in mind as we go along with these different principles second one ownership leaders are owners they think long term and they don't sacrifice long term value for short term results they act on behalf of the entire company beyond just their own team and they never say hey that's not my job that's not what I do once again as a parent keep these things in mind do you think short term or do you think long term with your children of course you think long term what's going to be best in the long term sometimes you have to say no sweetheart I can't let you do that even though in the short term it's something you're going to enjoy because in the long term it's going to be detrimental the same principle applies in your business so you want to be the person that is the long-term thinker and be able to envision results and not just make knee-jerk reactions when issues pop up third one invent and simplify Leaders expect and require innovation and invention from their teams, and they always find ways to simplify. Think back to when you were in school. Weren't the best teachers the ones that took a complicated scenario and were able to chunk it down into simple concepts so that you said, okay, I get that, I get that, I get that, and it was a building block process until the whole concept you had an aha moment now I get it and understand the whole thing isn't that what you do with your children as a parent you break down whatever scenario is in front of them and try and relate it to something that they already know simplify it in just building block process so that they can advance the same principle holds true on the business side of the balance sheet just as it does on the personal side of the balance sheet in raising your children understand that when you do things this way sometimes in the beginning you get a little bit misunderstood but once again you have to have the patience to ask them for patience bear with me we're gonna get there we're gonna get there alright and you've, you've, you've had a you've added point A, point B, point C, point D. 
all these different elements and then at the end they will make sense as a whole. Leaders are right a lot. Leaders have, have good leaders make good judgments and they have good instincts. They seek different points of view and work to confirm or disconfirm their beliefs. Now, as a parent, that's pretty easy. Why? Because you've lived life, you know a lot more than your kids, you're teaching them step by step, and so the issues that your kids have typically are things that as an adult, you know, as a mature adult, you say to yourself, oh, that's a piece of cake, I can handle that, let me show you how to do that, and then you do it. On the business side of the balance sheet, though, the people that really, the cream that really rises to the top, leadership-wise, perspective-wise, are the people that show good judgment. Now, I'd love to be able to say, here, here's a book, you can read this, and this teaches you how to good, have good judgment. But I can't because there isn't one. Good judgment comes from experience. Good judgment comes from having a mentor or a group of mentors to help you, people that are experts in a particular field, to give you good advice so that you can take it. Good judgment comes from the ability to be patient and to envision outcomes. Does that make sense? And just as a parent, because, you know, the situations that come up with your children are you know, relatively easy to solve most of the time, not all the time, but most of the time, because you've experienced it, you have good judgment. Your best leaders in the business world, in the, in the secular world, in the non-secular world, these are people that have experience, that have the ability to just envision certain scenarios and see their final outcomes. And the last one that we're going to talk about today is connected to that. It's learn and be curious. Leaders are never done learning and always seek to improve themselves. They are curious about new possibilities and they act to explore them. Well, as a parent, aren't you always thinking of, gee, what would be a, a new way, a better way to get my child excited about this or, or teach them how to do that? Same thing is true in the wonderful world of business. You're always looking for new stuff from new angles and new perspectives, new paradigms. You know, you, you have your, your, your core, you have your basics, but one of the things that makes people stand out from the crowd is their ability to approach things from a different angle. As an example, just a, one that comes off the top of my head, you know, people like to watch, you know, videos at home. They like to watch movies. All right, so you went to the video store. Somebody, probably at Netflix, came up with the idea, you know, we can probably do the same thing and make it a lot more convenient. People will never even have to leave their couch. People are lazy. They're going to like that. And we'll be able to offer more movies. Hello, McFly. So the point is, you know, in order to be innovative, one of the things you have to do is learn new stuff, find new angles, find new paradigms, all right? Let's review the, the five that we talked about today, all right? First of all, leaders are obsessed with their customers. They are the owners of the business. They think long-term and not short-term. They invent and simplify things. Right? The idea is to take something that's complicated, chunk it down into its, and make it have simple components, and then when you building block them all together, it makes sense. Fourth one, leaders show good judgments. They're right a lot. And judgment, good judgment comes from experience. Good judgment comes from having a good mentor. Good judgment comes from having experts around you to give you good advice. And the fifth one that we talked about today was to always continue to learn and be curious. Don't be satisfied 
with what you know. Always be on the lookout for new and innovative paradigms, angles, concepts that you can apply to whatever issue it is you are trying to solve. Once again, a huge shout out. This, I love this article by Grace Dean. There are 14 leadership principles that Jeff Bezos established in Amazon. And because we're never going to end a meeting on a philosophical note, let's all get out there and charge! I'm Eli's dad.